Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the latest edition of the Word on Fire Bible. It's Volume 3, The Pentateuch. Okay, Volume 3 of the Word on Fire Bible is here, and I'm so excited to share it with you. This is the Pentateuch, so it's the first Old Testament edition from Word on Fire for the Bible series that they're doing following the Gospels and then the rest of the New Testament. So Volume 1 was the Gospels, Volume 2 was Acts, the Letters, and Revelation. Both of these I really, really love. I've featured these Bibles on my channel already. I loved the Gospels so much that I spent an entire year with it as my, my main reading Bible and studying Bible as I studied the Gospels for an entire year. I actually took that Bible, I loved it so much, I sent it to my friend Nick at Lion and Lamb Bible Reading and I had this custom beautiful edition made. So this is a one-of-a-kind edition of Volume 1 with the Gospels, and I've done a recent video featuring that Bible as well. But I love the Word on Fire Bible. I love um, what they're doing for... Honestly, it's a, it's a Bible series that is designed for people who are newer to the Bible, but me as someone who's spent my entire life with the Bible, I love it a lot. I love the commentary. I love the resources. I love the design of this Bible. I just think it's really, really fantastic. And now that they're getting into the Old Testament, I'm excited to experience the Hebrew Bible um, in the Word on Fire way. So I'm going to do a video review now. I'm going to do an overhead video. I'm going to show you what this one looks like. I'm going to compare it with some of the previous editions and give you a closer look at volume three of the Word on Fire Bible. Okay, the first thing you notice is this beautiful cover art. This represents the seven days of creation. So this matches really nicely with the same cover art or the similar cover art that they did for uh, the two New Testament editions. I'll bring those in here real quick. So there's uh, the Gospels. See if I can fit all of these in here. Not really. So there's the Gospels right there. That's really cool. And then Acts, Letters, and Revelation. Interesting to note that the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible, is almost as thick as the majority of the New Testament. So it just goes to show how big the Pentateuch is because it's almost as big, but it looks really nice. This is the leather edition. Now, this also comes in two other editions like the other one. So I have for the gospel set, I have both of those. So this is the, the paperback edition. Same on the inside, but it's going to be a nice clean cut uh, paperback edition. I actually like this a lot. It looks great. It feels great. Same great paper on the inside. And then they have a cloth over board hardcover edition as well. So you have three, um, three different options, hardcover, leather, and paperback. So three editions you have, but um, this one does come with the box as you saw in the intro, but really nice pebbly grain leather on the outside. It's got raised spine hubs, Word on Fire, the Pentateuch. Looks good. It's got a single kind of cream colored ribbon that matches the other ones. It has gold gilding on the pages. You see all the different colors in there. That's going to be from the different artwork and the full color imagery on the inside. So really, really nice. It is a big, thick Bible, six and a half inches wide, nine and a half inches, nine and a quarter inches tall, almost two inches thick. I mean, that's just for the first five books of the Bible. So, you know, there's a ton of additional content in here. All right. I like it a lot. It says Smythe's own binding printed and bound in Italy. It looks great. I'm going to open this up a little bit. There you see a black paste down liner. Very, very clean. Some white end sheets. Genesis 131. A little verse. Gold accents throughout this Bible look really nice. So there's the cover image as well. The cover art. All of the information about the copyright designed by 2K Denmark. Tons of information here for all of the additional material. Starting with the contents, we get about Bishop Robert Barron. Word on Fire, Catholic Ministries, a note about the translation. It's the NRSV CE, the Angelico typeface. This has the same nine-point Angelico typeface for the main portion of Scripture as the other ones. This is about the cover design. It tells you about the design done by Nicholas Fredrickson and Michael Stevens, um, an essay here about the different artwork, um, elements of the artwork on the cover for this, representing the seven days of creation. Then you get these little images that kind of represent each book of the Bible. So there's Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. So really, really, I, I love the artistic nature of the Word on Fire Bible. That's one of my favorite parts 
about it. So this is an article about the Word on Fire Bible from Bishop Robert Barron. These are Bibles, like I said, that are designed for people who are newer to Scripture. So this is, has an article like how to approach the Bible. I think that's very helpful. I also find that it's really meaningful for those of us who have more experience. So this gives you the overall features of the Bible. So this symbol here indicates church father commentary. This one is recent author commentary. It tells you about the single column text for scripture, the different Bishop Barron commentaries, Hebrew word studies, art commentary. I mean, it's literally just chock full of, of great content. So an intro to Genesis. Once we get into the text, there you see the single column. So it's got a first few verses of Genesis in there on the first page, and then you immediately get an article called Why Did God Create? Um, from Bishop Robert Barron. So that goes from here onto the second page and then back to the single column for the scriptural text. The Genesis Problem by uh, Bishop Barron. These little verse images, I really like that. Here's something from Pope Benedict, Origen, G.K. Chesterton, Chesterton. Here's the first piece of art in the Bible. Of course, it's this beautiful image of the Sistine Chapel by Michelangelo. Isn't that cool? If you've never been there, this is kind of what it's like to just look up at the ceiling while you're there. And then you get an article about this that gives you some features, some different uh, things that are kind of connected to Genesis and creation. I really, really like this. Taking one of the most famous pieces of artwork in the world in the Sistine Chapel and putting it into uh, the Bible for us to engage with as we're reading the text that the art was inspired by. So I'm gonna actually put a little mark in here to show you another famous spot in the Bible. So Exodus chapter 20, the Ten Commandments, one of the most famous uh, passages in the Pentateuch. So just imagine here what you get. So you read these first 20 verses of Exodus chapter 20, you're reading the Ten Commandments, and then you hop over here, you get the symbol right there telling us it's a more recent modern commentary, this one from G.K. Chesterton, followed immediately by one from Rene Girard, then we get to uh, early church father commentary from Augustine. And then we get this beautiful piece of artistic commentary. Look at how this goes to totally black pages with the marble sculpture by Michelangelo of Moses. Really cool how you can kind of engage with this really critical portion of, of the Pentateuch with the Ten Commandments and talking about Michelangelo's Moses statue. I think that's really, really unique. And then we get an article that's several pages long from Bishop Robert Barron about the Ten Commandments. All of that, so it starts on page 350, the Ten Commandments in the text. By the time you move forward with the next verses, you're already to page 361. That's a lot of content that kind of reflects on Moses, the Ten Commandments, from several different types of people and different types of commentary. I find that really, really, really great. Um, full color imagery, great, um, line match text on the pages, super thick paper as in the other editions. I've talked about this with both of the others, but I just love the paper because it's so nice and thick. Um, it looks great. Here's a word study here. So kadash, the Hebrew word kadash, which means sacred or holy. So you have some information there about that word. Um, again, a kind of combination of a study Bible, a devotional Bible, an art commentary Bible, it's really unlike anything else that's out there. And again, we have the entire New Testament and now volume three, um, the first edition that they have in the Old Testament. I think there's going to be five or six volumes total for the entire Bible. But this Bible is absolutely beautiful. The graphic design, the attention to detail, um, all of the facets of this Bible are fantastic. At the very end, we get an index of all of the different notes. So if you want to find a specific thing that you're looking for that you read along the way, art credits, and then to the end. Absolutely stunning. So there you have it. That's the Pentateuch, Volume 3 of the Word on Fire Bible. These are all now available from my friends at Word on Fire, so I will put a link in the video description to where you can order one. I'm also going to put links to my reviews that I've done with the other editions of the Word on Fire Bible, so you can check those out. 
as well. If you have any questions, please drop those in the comments and I will get back to you with an answer. If you'd like to see some photos of this Bible and the other ones all together, check out my Instagram and Facebook pages, just at Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook.com slash Bible Review Blog. I'd love for you to follow along on social media. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and definitely feel free to surf around on my channel and find some more great Bible-related content. Thanks again to my friends at Word on Fire for sending me Volume 3. I love the way it turned out. I love this series, and I can't wait to see the next editions that come out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.